Hi, so today we're going to be doing a book review of Pushing the Limits by Katie McGarry. Katie McGarry, did no one tell you that the limit does not exist? Pushing the Limits is about a girl named Echo Emerson who in one night goes from being really, really popular in high school to being an outsider and to being gossiped about. And after this one night she has scars on her arms and she doesn't know how she got them. She can't remember anything about this night. Um, and she just wants things to go back to normal and to remember what actually happened and no one will tell her what happened on that night. Um, and into her life comes a guy named Noah Hutchins and he's this bad guy, he's this bad boy from the other side of the tracks who's like leather clad, leather jacket clad wearing. Um, and they don't think that they will have anything in common with each other but they do and they try to fight the attraction but they just can't and that's kind of the premise of the story that's where things start off. I really 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 did not like it. I just didn't like it. It was from the like premise from the synopsis of the book which I didn't actually read before I started it. Um, it just as it sounds it is so cliched and stereotypical like I just started reading it and it just I was like, uh, I was so, I was tired of it, like within the first like 10 pages, it was just, their voices were just not true, they just sounded so fake, it was like the dialogue felt like, um, you know when, when you write some, some dialogue that's really bad and you read it over and you're just like this, people don't talk like this, like, where it's so stiff and it doesn't feel real and doesn't feel like they're real voices, even when they were thinking things in their head, they just, I didn't connect with them and I didn't feel like they were real characters, I just felt like they were these stereotypical people who were just there to fill the gaps. Also both Noah and Echo have a lot of deep, like really big issues and I just found myself not caring about them, like not caring about what they were going through um, and just, I didn't, I wasn't connecting to them and it just, the start of the book was really really not good for me and then everything changed. Everything changed. I just really, really started to enjoy read it, like reading this book. I didn't even know what it was that changed exactly. I feel like the voices of the characters started to become real for me. They started to become actual people, and I felt like they just, they just came like it was, like it was like before they had these like cut out versions like these stereotypical people that you just always see in books or that you just always hear about in books and they were just there in front of me saying words and then all of a sudden they just took those away and they came out and they were like here I am let me talk about my life let me show you like what's real and speak in a way that feels real and just I just started to really like Echo and Noah and I wanted them to be together and I like cared about what was happening and about the problems that they were going through um, I don't know, like, I think that's what it was, that they just started to become real people to me and their struggles started to become, like, real things and I just became invested in everything and it was such a big change from the start. Like, I feel like the start was written by a different person because, like, the end of the book or after, like, 50 to 70-ish pages, it just started to get really good. Really, really good and I just really enjoyed it. So I am gonna give it a 4 out of 5 just because the start was not good for me. Um, it still continued to be kind of stereotypical a little bit and it was like not it, I was predictable like I predicted what would happen it wasn't surprising really in any way but I just really cared about these characters and about their story and the way that it was being shown and the things that they were saying what was happening to them I just really cared about that and I was invested and I just really enjoyed reading the latter part of the book so yeah, that is my review of Pushing the Limits by Katie McGurry. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you think about it in the description box below if you've read it. And yes, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Bye!